Hello, and welcome to the Oregon News Daily Update. I'm Tiana Waite. After two days of riots with demonstrators burning cars and buildings, Baltimore City residents are starting to clean up the damage. The Baltimore curfew ended this morning at 5 a.m., and traffic is again flowing through most of the downtown streets. The demonstrations were sparked in response to the death of a black man after he was taken into custody by Baltimore police. The city has hosted town hall meetings to try to defuse the protest, and according to Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, an estimated 2,000 National Guardsmen and more than 1,000 police officers from Maryland and neighboring states have also arrived in Baltimore to help restore order. Nepal's 7.8 magnitude earthquake may have struck on the other side of the world, but the effects are being felt here in Eugene. It turns out two Thurston High School graduates, Amber Brazil and Alicia Scroggins, were hiking in Nepal when the earthquake hit on Saturday. After three days of waiting with no word, their families finally received a short phone call from the women assuring them that they were okay. The two friends are now trying to hike to an area where it's believed vehicles can get in. An arrest warrant has been issued for a massage therapist from Vancouver, Washington, who has been accused of inappropriately touching his clients. Valentin Delgado was initially arrested last month and charged with three counts of indecent liberties. Three of his clients reported he performed inappropriate and unwanted sexual contact during their massage sessions between December 2012 and February 2015. Vancouver police now say more alleged victims have come forward this week, leading to an additional 15 counts of indecent liberties. The investigation is ongoing. Coming up next, news on Jack Eli, the songwriter who penned the classic Luai Luai, and what to expect for weather. Stay tuned. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello, that's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide and go seek. Jack Eli, the Oregonian singer-songwriter, known for the song Luai Luai, has died, his son confirmed Tuesday. Eli and his band, The Kingsmen, recorded the song in 1963. It's estimated that more than 1,000 cover versions have been made since. Eli died at his home in Redmond, Oregon yesterday. He was 71. Luai Lua has always been a favorite of mine to listen to on a sunny day, so the question is, will we see sun today? Here in Eugene, we're starting off the day under the clouds, but the clouds should burn off and the sun should be making its appearance later in the afternoon. Eugene's high is 64, low is 40. Going north in the Willamette Valley to Corvallis, similar temperatures are expected in that area with a high of 64 and a low of 42. The clouds should stick around for the remainder of the day up there in Corvallis. Heading east to Bend, it's looking like much cooler weather than that area has been seen lately. The clouds should linger throughout the day, high of 60 and a below freezing low of 40, or 30. Excuse me. Looking ahead for Eugene, it appears as if we're finally warming up. By the end of the day, the sun should be here, and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. Tomorrow should be a beautiful sunny day with a high temperature near that 70 degree mark. And then Friday, again, sunshine is expected with a high of 73. It's finally starting to look as if we have that spring-like weather everyone has been hoping for. That'll do it for the Oregon News Daily Update. I'm Tiana Waite. For more news, visit our newsroom website. From the entire crew, thanks for watching and have a great day.